Thanks. Who else needs a calculator? Nobody? All right. All right, listen up. Listen up. The base was in the burette. The base has a concentration of three. That concentration is your MB. So some of you might benefit from doing this like we did the gas law. When we did the gas law formula, we kind of wrote it out on the side. MA is the question mark. That's the concentration of acid. Molarity means concentration. You need to remember that. Otherwise, this is confusing. So M means concentration. So we're looking for that. VA is the volume of the acid. Reading the question, who can tell me how much acid is in that flask? 15 milliliters. the first sentence. 15 milliliters of an unknown concentration of HCl. So we know the volume, that's V, volume of acid, is 15 milliliters. But we don't know the concentration. The molarity of the base, Caitlin, you with me? Yeah. Molarity of the base is 3. I already circled that. 3 molar NaOH. You need to know NaOH is a base. It says the initial burette <laughs> reading was 17. Final burette was 17 and a half. So the volume of the base would be 17.5 minus 17 equals 0.5 milliliters. Wait, you have to put that as a read. You have to do the whole calculation in your answer? No, you just need the 0.5. Oh, okay. You just need the 0.5. So how much base went from the burette into the flask? When I opened the valve and it dripped in, I only added half a milliliter. That's all I added, half a milliliter. So I know three out of the four variables. So now I set up my equation. X times 15 equals 3 times 0.5. Because X is MA, 15 is VA, 3 is MB, and 0.5 is VB. I got all that from the, the paragraph there. And we, we literally just did this. I wanted to give you a question and show you what it looks like so you're not so confused as to even what this means. At least you saw it. You may have trouble solving it, but at least you have an idea of what's going on. Hopefully. So, now we solve for x. 3 times 0.5 be 1.5 divided by 15. x equals 0.1 capital M. The molarity is 0.1. Molarity is 0.1. This was just one sample problem of a titration question. I'm going to give you another one. We have time to do one more, at least. Then I'm going to give you a worksheet for homework that practices this over and over again. So if you get your worksheet and you, get, you go home and you do it and you're having trouble, don't come in tomorrow with a blank. Come in tomorrow with at least this attempted to try and figure out where the numbers go. I think if we do one more, it'll help uh, a lot of you. But before I move on, Questions on this one, like where the numbers came from or how I got how I got point one. Okay, let's try another. I'm gonna uh, flip it though. I'm gonna make it a little bit a little bit different. Same exact concept, just ask it a little different. Um, an unknown. Um, concentration, yep, write down the whole thing, an unknown concentration of, um, we'll just use HCl again, with, no, 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 let's do, let's use NaOH, an unknown concentration of NaOH, sorry, I want to, I want to do it in reverse, an unknown concentration of NaOH with a volume of 25 milliliters is titrated with uh, one molar HCl. Oh, I hit my little speed bump there. Is titrated with one molar HCl. If it takes Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Let's go with uh, 50 milliliters of the HCl. If it takes 50 milliliters of the HCl 
to um, reach the end point, calculate the molarity, which is concentration, I could use either word, of the NaOH. So an unknown concentration of NaOH with a volume of 25 milliliters is titrated with one molar HCl. If it takes 50 milliliters of the HCl to reach the end point, that should be a comma, I guess, not a period. Calculate the molarity of the NaOH. So I'm going to give you a couple minutes on your own. Try and set up what we did over on the left side, MABA, MBB. At least try and pick the numbers out. Some of you have uh, some numbers in the right spot, so that's good. Myself mostly for saying one of them was right and not. As a teacher, I can see. Wait, can you check mine? I'm going to get this. I don't get it. I don't know where to put You Honestly, like when you're making a test, do you put your questions so that their answers line up on the questions on the answer sheet? No. Because that, that scares me so much. I don't Because I, I feel like I get them wrong. What? Why, why are you. What's going on? Okay. All right, so I can't check, Carl, because i got to go over this here. All right, now, M-A is one. one. Right here. That's the acid. That's the concentration of the acid. V-A, how much acid was added? 50 milliliters of HCl. That goes here. An unknown concentration of NaOH. That's your unknown concentration of base. The volume of the base, 25 milliliters. NaOH with a volume of 25. That goes in for VB. You got to be careful when you read it. <coughs> now you plug it all in. 1 times 50 equals X times 25. X is going to equal 2. 50 divided by 25. Your homework, I know I went kind of quick, but I wanted you to get at least one more example. Your homework is more practice with this. What's that, Fred? Don't move, don't move. Just got to put my calculator back. Oh, yeah.